Good morning, guys, and happy Sunday. I want to share with you a tour of my Sunday morning walk through the garden. A lot is changing and happening in the garden, and I'm getting really excited from the process. I also added a pineapple guava to my lovely garden. This is my first pineapple guava. Actually, it's my first guava, which arrived via mail in like two days from Jacksonville, Florida. Really excited because not only is it edible, but it's also a butterfly nectar shrub. Good morning. I'm just doing a walk through the garden this morning. I watered before the sun really gets out and hit. Taking a look at what's happening and this is my Black Beauty eggplant and they are flowering really all of them are I have about 10 or 12 of these plants in my garden maybe 20 I don't know this is the gourd and Looks like it's trying to develop flowers. And this gourd has been taken off. I think I'm gonna trellis it around my um, canopy. Trellis it and let it hang from there. The peas, getting a ton of black eyed peas in here in this cage. Cantaloupe. And I discovered today that I have a cantaloupe, but I don't know if it was pollinated. And I'm moving because there are wasps in the garden. I'm not going to complain because you know what that means. This is watermelon. Here is the zucchini. Pretty soon I'm going to start sprinkling Demacia's earth around the base to keep the vine borer from setting in. I threw out some cucumber seeds just to get rid of them. Summer's almost over. Why not? Some more gourd. My Cuban oregano. And I rooted one right there. Started it in a new pot. My zinnias. Here's that pecan tree, guys. This is new to the garden. Mexican sunflower. Looking forward to see what color it is. Here's some, uh, some of my sweet sunset peppers. And a new, a new flower right there. Oh, that's a pretty flower. Here's the lettuce I've been protecting. The Brussels sprouts. Here is my cucumbers in two different pots. And they are growing really good. And this is another sweet sunset pepper and it's turning all the way red. My banana peppers are flowering again. I do have some peppers. My jalapeno peppers. Got one right there. I, I cut this plant back the other day. More black beauty in a pot. Here's the Tabasco plant that I'm testing out with the water spike. And as you can see, it still has water. It looks very happy. It's not stressed. Okra that I can harvest pretty soon from over here. I have been trying to stay on top of it, guys. I really have. I have some corn. Last time I had corn, it didn't grow tall. I guess it didn't pollinate. So we'll see what happens. Sunflower. Over here I have some more Black Beauty. I think I got 20 in a pot, I don't know. Okra, here. And I cut the leaves back because leaves on this plant is so big 
And here is some more cucumbers. And this one is really flowering a lot. So we'll see what happens. Got some beautiful okra flowers. Some more black beauty over here. And this one is also about to flower. Some more okra, a smaller black beauty. This is loaded with jalapeno peppers. And I did find some flowers over here on this cucumber. Hopefully we'll get some growing out where the pollinators can come in and see the yellow flowers and pollinate it. Some more jalapeno peppers, okra, black beauty. I accidentally chopped the head of that okra off. I didn't try to. I just left it there to see what happens. Black beauty. This one's in the pot. So this one is pretty much, these two, the ones in pots, are the largest in my garden. And I planted these long after the ones in the ground. And it's doing so good. More okra flowers. I got two over here. I love okra flowers, but they only last a day. They're absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Look at the cranberry hibiscus, that burgundy. The sunflowers are looking sad. A couple weeks, I'll top the heads off and then I'll just plant some peas to grow up the stalks. Here's the popcorn cassia, my fig tree. These bell peppers, I have the most I've ever grown on this plant here. I got four over here. Starting to wonder if I should have removed the flowers so they didn't grow that close together, but we'll see what happens. And I have more flowers growing on it. Here's my tomatoes, and I have yet to have tomatoes, guys. So, snail. Bye. Sweet potato vines are really doing their thing. I really need to take these slips and off of this sweet potato and just replant them somewhere else. But the rest of these are planted over here in the ground or in the pot. Here's that 90 cent fig I purchased. These two are new leaves since I brought it home. Tomatoes, still no tomatoes. And remember the pepper bed? Well, I shaded it because the um, flowers kept dropping from it. And since I shaded it, new flowers have formed and look what I got got an Anaheim chili pepper growing on this one and on the other ones I don't know if you can see it because there's water but they have flowers so like right there flowers so pretty soon we will be getting some chili peppers I'm excited so Covering this with mesh has saved it from the pests, but also protecting it with the shade cloth is keeping it from being stressed by the heat and the flowers dropping. So everything looks um, green and lush in the garden. I love it. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. You like the video, like it, leave a comment, share it with others. If you're not already part of my gardening channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated on what's growing on in the Soul Gardener's Garden. 
Thank you guys and have a blessed day.